What's up, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube Minute. I'm Naja Versailles. What is going on? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Incense. You know when we burn. Anyways, uh, that was some Palo Santos. Um, welcome to the Intuitive Minute. We are back with another one. So this is Thursday, uh, February 29th. Are we? Yeah, February 29th. The last day of the month. It is a leap year. Whoo! Okay, so let's see what's in the cards, all right? And for, before we get started, thank you so much for supporting, liking, sharing. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Hope you stick around. Please be a part of the Naj Mahal family. Go ahead and join the temple right now. The link is in the description. Everything I'm talking about is in the description to subscribe. And you also, you'll see the links, like, share, comment. Let me know how today's reading does for you. I want to hear from you, okay? Um, you already know, Cash App is right here. Drop a dime or two, whatever you like, if you love what I'm doing and to continue what I'm doing. Also, um, check out my many services that I have on my Easy Tree. That link is in the description box. Okay. With that being said, let's get started. Um, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Star, and the Seven of Swords. So, uh, whew, Seven of Swords is the last one. So let's really take a look at what's going on of the situation and the obstacle. Oh, there is an obstacle. Literally, you're working hard. You put in the work. This is what this is. You're putting in the work. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're attending to the projects, the goals, whatever that's important to you right now. Maybe you're planning to move. Maybe you're planning to switch jobs or play. maybe you're in schools. Whatever it is, you're very, very focused. You've been doing your due diligence. The star is all about balancing that, you know, having your feet in water, right? Which is the consciousness and earth, materializing that onto the earth plane. So you're fluid in this, right? Continuing to balance that out back and forth. Now, this is good. It's going great. The other part here, the last part is the seven of swords. Now, I don't know if they're asking you, uh, because this sword is almost like, like, I, I think about like a thief in the night, <laughs> you know, like I'm looking, I took what it is and I'm looking. Now, I think sometimes we have to be like a thief in the night for some of the things that we want in our life. I think maybe you're too passive and you need to take some real action towards what you want, right? Um, and really go after it. So if it's, you see a person that you know has a doorway or a key to where you got to go, go up to them and introduce yourself. Like doing things to step out of your comfort zone a little bit. This person definitely stepped out of their comfort zone, right? Mentally stepping out of their comfort zone, whatever they used to. Yes, you're looking back to see like, oh my God, did I just do that? Oh my God, did I just made that happen and I have it in my hands, mm -hmm. right? This card today is more in like a positive way to me, like really saying, yes, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You laid out the foundation, but you need to take a leap, leap year, a leap 
of faith, a leap of action that is a little bit outside. Now, I'm not to tell you to go and steal now. I'm not saying that and go rob somebody or what. No, it's about taking what's rightfully yours by doing good, positive action that it kind of scares you. It's like, damn, did I just do that? Like, you know, you leap out of a plane, like, damn, did I just do that? And conquered it right there's a person that you're going to meet that has the key to a particular door that is going to open the doors for you in a big way from all that you've done the work for already let me know in the comment section below when it happens or if it's happening already i'll see you manana <laughs>